I guess while I'm here, you know, I, I was reading some of the comments. Um, yeah, you asked how many bristles. You know, this guy asked, how did I model the bristles? I guess, and I guess I could just take a quick look at that, you know, just to give this a break. So save. Give you guys something else to look at. Once it loads up. Yeah, we got this all loaded up. But yeah, if I take away the, the sketch-driven pattern, yeah, this is how it all kind of started. Yeah, so I did a fill pattern to get all these holes. I've got a cool neighbor. Yeah, yeah. He's super talented and and I, I offered to buy it from him, but he refused. <laughs> he just wanted to give it to me. That was really cool. But yeah, here's how I did the um, the bristles. So I drew a line, and this is uh, centered in the hole here, going straight up. So this is a perfectly straight line. I swept it. I didn't have to sweep it. I could have just drawn the circle profile, but I just wanted to see what the line would uh, look like there. And then I did this other sketch, which was, this time it was a spline, but just kind of curving straight, curving outwards. Then I swept that, but a little bit thinner. So I think this one is, uh, let's see. Yeah, this one is 20 thou, and this one is 10 thou. And that's what, what it actually is. If you look at your, it, look at a brush, the, br the bristles are differing sizes. Then I circle pattern those, so I think there's 16 instances there. And then I do a third row of that, if I can actually. So yeah, so there's yet another spline like that. I sweep it and circular pattern it. Um, but the thing is, it might be tough to see, but it's, it's way too symmetrical. So I didn't think the effect was convincing. So what I did was I used the move body move copy bodies command. So you see I selected a handful of bristles randomly and rotated them like half a degree in, in, in a direction. And I did that like three times. You know, kind of picking these random bristles until you get something like that. You know, something that's like really random looking. And then yeah, to finish it off. Oh yeah, to fit, yeah. So you know, there's, there's 35 bristles there, but the key is uh, to keep the the key to keeping SolidWorks from killing itself was um, I drew a circle on the bottom where no one could see, and then I just kind of uh, let's see. There we go. There's a circle, and I extruded it up just a little bit, and what that does it fuses all the bristles together and makes it one body. So in, instead of copying bristles 35 at a time it's only now one group that has to go all throughout the the brush and that's what saved me the um the performance lag yeah but then after that i copied a, a, a sketch with a bunch of points in it corresponding to the holes and then you sketch pattern sketch driven pattern so basically says, okay, we'll put this body wherever you've thrown a point down. And this, and even with the optimizations, it d takes a while to generate. But that's the, that's the basic method. And people, you know, people were saying we're, it was pretty convincing. I think I still could have made it a little better. Because of course, you know, I'm copying the same group over and over and over again. If you look hard enough at it, you'll see the regularity within the, the pattern that's just kind of like 
over and over again. Uh oh, Salvor's thinking too much. But I think this take that that feature takes about a minute to rebuild, so probably should have done that. But whatever. You know, we'll chill out here for a second. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Like a lot of the times, you think SolidWorks is frozen when really it's just thinking. Sometimes it's just gotta think. Yep, and then there's the. The bristles. So I really enjoyed that one. <laughs>